Metal Gear Solid V is the latest game in the Metal Gear Solid series. This long-running video game series created by Hideo Kojima over at Konami has been a gaming darling for the past few decades. In this Metal Gear Solid the latest one, we follow the final adventures of, of solid old punished of this guy Hello? and he goes in and he goes to Iraq and he beats up all of the terrorists he can even find. Along the way Snake meets a whole bunch of cool friends and he learns the value of friendship and he figures out that it's not that bad being Snake. But then I think he grows a horn and he decides to be an evil devil anyway. It's pretty messed up. Snake lives a hard life. It's tough having Mr. Skullhead out to get you and your entire Star Fox team. As you know, Metal Gear Solid V has been getting rave reviews. 10 out of 10 scores just pouring out of the Konami Early Access Review concentration camp. Just before release, Game Over Greggy was seen with his nose so far up Kojima's butt that he actually suffocated and died to death. It was, it was pretty messed up, I'm glad it happened. Now Snake may be a well-seasoned sneaking veteran, but this old dog is still learning all sorts of new tricks up his sleeve. One of Snake's best new moves that he's picked up is his brand new combat roll. This special new combat roll is probably your most sneaky technique for rolling down all those scary corridors. Think about it, there's no footsteps and... If you roll around enough, Snake's dad, McDonald's Miller, will even give you a really cool merit badge. He loves his snake so much. Now while you're out there in the mission, killing bad guys by throwing cool shit at them and... Showing off Snake's cool parkour moves, sometimes things don't go according to plan and someone will see your poor solid snake. In this case, don't worry, Snake has another cool move. It's his super slow sneaky snake time. During this brief moment of ultra reflexes, Snake can take as much time as he wants to pump all of his bullets into this bad guy's balls. After you've emptied your entire magazine, you're pretty much safe. I mean, if the other guards come by and see that, they, they know they're not going to really want to mess with you. I can't blame them. Snake's even done some training and some non-combat skills. Did you know he learned how to drive? Well, he just got his learner's permit, actually. He's really not that good yet, he's not supposed to be driving without without an adult in the car with him. But if you don't tell anybody, I won't. And if things really go downhill and you're really a big stealth fuck-up, you could have just activated all the bombs he planted on all the important military equipment, like cactuses and guns. And then hop on your military attack chopper and stealthily launch rockets and grenades at all your enemies on the floor. This is really the pinnacle of stealth gameplay right here. I can't think of a better way to just be the unseen ghost mercenary of these deadly sands. Now I'm sure you all remember in the previous game, Metal Gear Solid 911, Keith R. Sutherland started voicing Snake. You see, Keith R. Sutherland was also the lead vampire in the movie The Lost Boys, and he really loved that role. So when he saw Vamp in Metal Gear Solid 2, he just knew he had to get in on this vampirific series. Now, at the time, Kojima thought it was a great idea, um, but Kiefer, he's a, he's a really busy Hollywood man, and when it came time to do voices for Metal Gear Solid V, well, he, he didn't have a lot of time. So instead, he would just wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, you know, on his way to go make a movie or something, and he would just pull out his microphone. Kept you waiting, huh? It was, like, here's some footage of it, it was, it was really weird, and it didn't really work out, so they brought David Hayter back. Now, after recording Metal Gear Solid 4, his voice kind of, uh, it, it kind of got stuck that way, and since he had absolutely no practice during Metal Gear Solid, uh, the one before this one, he, he's really out of practice, and, well, I mean, it, it's, it's alright, like, listen. See, it's, it's, it's still Snake. Now, if you haven't ever played a Metal Gear Solid game, and you probably haven't, I don't think Markiplier did a video about any of them. The game works like this. Metal Gear Solid is basically a ripoff of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory by Tom Clancy, except it's Japanese. 
So you run around and you're Japanese Tom Clancy and you try to sneak into as many places as you want and sometimes you shoot people but other times you don't and there's a cardboard box and that's basically the premise of the whole game and they made like five of them and this is the fifth one. There's a lot of brand new features in this new Metal Gear. Like, in a lot of the old Metal Gears, like, you would be, like, walking around in the jungle, in the big open jungle in Russia, and... For some reason, even though it's a jungle, there's only one way you can go. Well, they fixed that in this one. First, they burned down the whole jungle, and then they replaced everything with sand. And then they decided, hey, go do whatever the heck you want. Here's the mission, go do it. So now it's a lot more like an open world game. Now, as you all know, Bethesda invented open-world games in 2005 when they created Skyrim. So ever since that, everyone's been trying to make their own Skyrim, and here we go. We have the Skyrim of the Metal Gear. It's pretty good. I didn't find the dragon yet. Now, while we're on the subject of... Uh, hold on a s What? Hey gamers, RockCock64 here. Contacting Agent Boy, have you successfully distributed the information? Wait, what? W what the heck? The truth regarding the controversy surrounding Konami Corporation. Wait, wait, you mean how K Kojima got kicked out of Konami so they could make a bunch of pachinko machines for money? No, 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 no. Kojima just left as mm -hmm. planned. It's like a uh, cicada leaving behind its shell. Is it cicada? Cicada? Carnivore, that's really gross. How are you even talking to me in my review? You still refer to Hideo Kojima as an individual. Don't you get it, Asian boy? What you call Kojima is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Wait, Kojima's an Asian, man. He's yellow. I follow him on Twitter. The Konami who's, is who he works for? Exactly, that's the story given to the general public. Oh. It's staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. In truth, Kojima is merely an entity that has been slowly developed over the years so Konami could take new form. Carnivore, what the heck are you even talking about? Okay, someone needed to play villain in order for Kojima to like be the hero that the public was waiting for. Konami made that sacrifice using its own name, shaping itself into the villain everybody needed. Classic series relegated to Pachinko releases, but they never even left Japan. Games after game got cancelled. Zillion is free, Silent Hills, and hey, even long before that, the public was great to stickers like a Rocket Knight reboot. All these disappointments have to be the villain. Carnivore! Carnivore! Okay, look. The truth is, Hideo Kojima just isn't valuable to Konami anymore. There's some very specific things you need to be in order to be worth anything to Konami. For one, Kojima doesn't even have any experience making pachinko machines. Yeah, look at this guy, you think this guy's ever touched a ball bearing before? Probably not. Not on purpose. Tasty. Also, Kojima, uh, he's not logging his lunches into his time card. Instead, he just logs them all into Twitter. And Konami doesn't like that. Their HR department doesn't look at Twitter. It's against regulations. And how about Kojima's abilities as a video game man? Look, the truth is, there's just no place in the world today for a game like Silent Hills. Look, Five Nights at Freddy's is getting like, three sequels in over the course of 11 months? That's all the scary horror that you need, what do you want to play Silent Hills for? What are you, some kind of idiot? Overall gamers, getting rid of Hideo Kojima was the best thing Konami's D done in years. I can't do it. K Kojima, come back. Just don't go. I need you to make video games and post about sausage on Twitter. <laughs> I can't finish the review. I miss Kojima too much. I'm not gonna do it. Chris, Chrissy. I'm not sure if I should make you finish this review, knock you out, or kill you. Don't kill me! I'm playing the video games! Ugh. You have to finish this review. I want but, you to spit it but, out. But, but I miss Kojima! I want him to stay! Speak! Okay! Okay! Uh, I'll, I'll do it! I'll, I'll do it! Ugh. Knocked out. So while we wait for him to wake up from his nap, let me tell you my take on the game. I would like to start off by talking about 
one of the characters. It's a new character that arrives in this game. It is one of the most feminist characters ever done in any video game. This character is really making leaps and bounds for feminism and is not going to pander to the male gamer and give him that over-sexualized female that you see in so many games. The character that I'm referring to is named Quiet. She is a strong, independent feminist who doesn't take crap from anyone. The best part of this character is that the outfit she's wearing is very skimpy, but she's only doing it to actually be ironic. So some people do say that they can't take the character seriously when she's dressed that way. I say if you see a little bit of, you know, boob and you can't take someone seriously, it seems like you have the issue. That's what I would think. Quiet was not just made up from someone's imagination. She was modeled after an actual employee of the company. She was modeled after the official toast butterer to the CEO. And you might think that that job sounds a little demeaning, but she actually gets paid as much as a CEO due to the gender equality in the workplace. Oh, oh my neck parts. I said I'd continue the review, Chrissy. Why'd you do that? Well, you were being difficult, and I didn't think I had any choice. We cannot stop this review. Uh, okay. So, tell me, what is your favorite character? Because I just talked a little bit about mine. Oh, well, my favorite character is Snake's Beard. It's one of the most technologically advanced characters in the whole game. I've heard that. I mean, it's really magnificent. It's very good. I heard that they had an entire team of expert barbers. They had to call them in to consult them on the beard. I hear they consulted the Bonsai Barber creators. Oh, the guys who made Bonsai Barber for the Nintendo Wii? Yes. Yes. That's amazing. Uh, I heard each each individual hair is made up of at least 20 polygons. Well, that would really be the only way to do it justice. It's the only way. I mean, they did have to make the whole head out of clay and put in, you know, discarded hair from their barbershop one by one. Yeah, that was the first step in creating this magnificent character for this game. I'm nominating it for Character of the Year. So, in this game, the song Here's to You, they actually had it recorded by the actual Vienna Boys Choir. Yeah, I did hear that. I also heard that Chico, his ankle bolts, and the cage he's kept in are modeled after the real-life boys in the choir. Wow, like I heard they got the idea to put the bolts in their ankles by watching them, because no boy wants to be a choir singer. So they actually keep them locked up in those cages like all day, they don't get to eat or anything. Yeah, and, and the bolts would keep them from doing anything fun like running or playing or... Or standing or... It's one of the most impressive, impressive musical accompaniments in the game. I wish more video games were sung by little boys who don't get any money for it. One of the newest additions to Metal Gear Solid V is that you can ride a horse all around, all around the, the country. It's either, it's either Iraq or Arizona, I'm not really sure. Um, one of the best things about the horse, though, is it has your very own dedicated take a poop button. You press that and you'll lay down turds all over the place, they're really useful. What can the turds be used for? You can you can step on them, and then you'll fall down and be covered in poop. Or you can have other people step on them, and then they'll fall down and you can laugh at them. So you could thwart your enemies. You could thwart them with poop if you want. Um, well, how, is there any limit to how much the horse can poop? Um, if you kept pressing the button continuously, will it keep pooping? Or, I mean, would it just die if it pooped too much? Well, I'm not sure. I did some experiments with this. I, I took a horse into one of the into one of the armories, and I just, yeah. just started b butt blasting all over the place, but I, w I really wasn't sure what happened afterwards, because I didn't want to go back in there, and my horse was really s didn't look too well. I think maybe I'll, I'll check back. I'll check back if there's a Metal Gear Solid 6. I don't want to go in there right now. Yeah, I would wait for the next one. It's gross. Unless it ends up being way before this one, then oh, it would God. have never happened. Oh, no. One of the most important aspects of Metal Gear Solid whatever is that you can build your very own base out in the ocean. You can make new th new things for your people to stand on, and and you can you can teach all your new troops to do 
things like cooking and and I found a tortilla recipe but Biff Hard Arms was really bad at him. He was really bad at making tortillas so I demoted him to toilet cleaner. But it's just like my favorite iPhone game, The Simpsons Tap and Touch. I love that game. Now you recruit all your troops with your balloons. You just go balloon crazy out there but sometimes you get too many troops and then you run out of jobs for them to do. So you just make some of them into other snakes. Well, what do you do when you end up with lots of snakes? Well, I mean, there's already a lot of snakes in Metal Gear, so all you really can do is just send them off into a time vortex to further convolute the entire Metal Gear story. Like, imagine if there was a snake who wasn't Snake, it was just some medic, and it turned out he did all the evil things and Snake is still good. That'd be pretty fucked up. That's amazing. I know. There's also this special multiplayer mode that revolves around quiet and she enters the base and she starts to strip and try to pleasure all of the characters you've accumulated mm -hmm. but actually everyone just ignores her because they know it's just ironic because she's a huge feminist yeah i do that sometimes she has two tits <laughs> overall gamers metal gear solid the phantom menace is the best metal gear game that i played without falling asleep I'm going to miss Hideo Kojima. I hope he keeps tweeting his lunch out. I'll be sad otherwise. Who's Kojima?